This video is going to walk you through setting up your Student Kaiser email address um, with Microsoft Office. We recently converted from Google Drive, sorry, Gmail, to Office. Uh, this video will help students, both current and new, learn how to log in to access their new email. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put in your Student Kaiser email, ad uh, email address and then your password and then click on Sign In. Okay, and the right, there is additional information that is required, so we're going to go ahead and click on Next. And we're going to use, you have to choose one of these to authenticate or sign on. And for right now, I'm going to do a security question. And I'm going to pause the video while I set these up because this is a real student. And then I'll resume the video. Okay, now I've set up the three security questions. We'll go ahead and click on Finish. Now we'll click on Next. Okay, now we'll just have to re-enter the password. And then sign in. Okay, and then looks good. Okay, now we'll go ahead and just close out of this. And from here we can install Office 2016 and you can simply click on Mail to retrieve your email. Now one of the things we're going to need to do is set up our time zone, so I'll go ahead and do that now. And you'll get a little pop-up here. It talks about meet the focused inbox. You basically have your inbox is now split into two. You have your focused inbox and then you just have your other. And then you're basically all set. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of exploring here. Now if you click on other you'll be able to see your other emails that aren't considered focused. And I'm going to go here to open the settings. And you can change your themes, just change your um, offline settings and things like that here. And from here is where you're going to when you click on here, you can click on your sign out. Now if you go back, if you click on this little icon up here, you can go into your calendar, people you know, and any tasks you may have set up. You can also go into your calendar and people and tasks down here as well. Alright, let's click on Office 365. Okay. So here we have OneNote, Mail, Calendar, Sway. We even have Word, PowerPoint, and Excel on here. So let's go ahead and open up Word just to make sure it works. Okay, and we are currently on Word. And it's going to store on your OneDrive, which is your cloud. So no matter where you're saving it to, you can always access it from any internet connection. I'm going to go ahead and click on Back again. And go back to here. Here we go. If I do other installs, it shows you everything that you're going to get once you install this. I don't recommend installing the 32 bit. Most computers nowadays are 64, so if you do that, and then go to 64-bit, you should be okay. And then click on Install. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop there, keep the video relatively short for a change. And if you have any questions, shoot me over an email. I'll be happy to help you wherever I can.